Tamid, Little Tamid, and King Island. And in those th uh, three islands are the stepping stones to get to America. So King Island is this absolutely beautiful place off the coast of Alaska. And if you can imagine being on this really kind of rocky island that kind of shoots up from the water to these cliffs, and then all of a sudden you see these stilts and then you look up and there are these houses. They were built on the cliff up high because of the ice. Being an island in the Bering Sea, you have ice that's being pushed by the winds onto the island. So it's going to pile up uh, 50, 60 feet high. Structures are still there today and uh, people have returned to King Island. It's a growing community as the people return back to their island.
When I was young, my mom, whenever the Northern Lights came out, she just whistle. <laughs> Boy, they come alive. Just keep whistling and that aurora will just like, you know, you can almost hear it. And then she explained to me uh, a little bit later that those are children and children who've passed away when they're children. You don't want to draw them in too much, you know, is what she said, because then they could play football with your head, play Eskimo football, and that's what they want to do. They're always playing, those children up there. Don't play out without your hood on. If you had, don't have your hood on, the Aurora person is going to come down and chop your head off and play ball with your head. It wasn't like they were trying to do bad, you know, or it was like a scary story or anything like that. It was just, that's what, that's how it was. That's what it was.
We're taught 
that there's no hierarchy. It's not everything else, and then man, you know, <laughs> humans on top, and they're separate from everything. We're taught that everything is, is equal, and that all the animals have a human form, or can be seen in a human form. And so they have just as much or more intelligence. You know, in fact, have a lot to teach people. And so that's how these transformations can happen. It's if the animal wants you to see it in its human form. There's a story where a man comes up to an ice hole and then there realizes there's there's another man in his parka that's that's got stuck in the net, you know, and he's just stuck like that. Oh, can you can you let me out? Please help me, you know. And so then he lets the man out, but then realizes that was actually a, a seal. That was a seal man. And just because that seal wanted that help, that seal allowed itself to be seen in human form.
Thank <laughs> you. 